the safety interventions and testing can be really, really cheap. And that doesn't mean that companies will do it. It's not that these are incredibly expensive, incredibly hard. You know, some types of tests are harder than others. But I think predominantly, it's just like the companies don't have to do this testing today. And they have other priorities. And so by default, we shouldn't count on the big AI companies to do these tests, even for behaviors that are well known, well understood, that they've already said they really want to avoid. Yeah. Absurd. And again, it shows how in practice, until we have a regulator in place or until we have laws in place, you know, even even things that cost 20 cents on a laptop are not going to be done for, you know, accidentally or negligence or what else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, like... I should be, I, you know, it is 20 cents of inference. The real cost of something like this is the overhead of the safety process associated with it, right? Um, that running these tests would bind an AI company's hands and force them to confront difficult trade-offs. What if your model is better at writing code or better at problem solving, but worse on the sick of fancy or self-preservation evals, right? Where exactly is the line? How do you balance these? Are you going to vote to authorize a model where you have these negative test results? And so the cost isn't just about the amount of money needed to get the test results. It's really about how having such results in hand constrains the company's option set and forces them to reckon a bit more with having having this knowledge.